Hello, I'm Akshay, an operations engineer with AWS Managed Services here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I'm going to show you how to respond to a monitoring incident generated from an Amazon CloudWatch alert in your AWS Managed Services account. Let's get started. For this video, I'll be showcasing two examples which would give you a good idea of how to respond to AMS-initiated monitoring incidents. First, I'll use an example of an AMS-initiated incident for non-compliant AWS config resource. Open the AWS Management Console and navigate to Support Center. Then locate the relevant incident. This incident was created by AMS to alert you about a non-compliance that was detected by AWS config for a virtual private cloud. Let's now try to get some additional details from the case. Because this case was created for AWS config, let's try to find the relevant config rule. From the case subject, we can see the rule name is AMS NIST CIS VPC flow logs enabled. Let's scroll down at the bottom to see the first correspondence that was sent by AMS. As you can see, there are further details around the incident summary, such as the description, documentation, and the resource affected. Read through the incident summary to get a better understanding of the incident. This specific config rule belongs to the auto-remediate category because AMS understands that non-compliance with these rules can strongly affect the security and availability of your accounts. This behavior can be confirmed by looking at the official AMS documentation configuration compliance and accelerate present in the resources section. Now let's check if the automated remediation was successful. As you can see, the next automated message from AMS clearly states that the automated process successfully remediated the finding. Note that we encourage customers to reopen the case if you believe the mitigation wasn't successful. If the automation fails to run for some reason, an AMS engineer investigates the issue and updates you on the same case. You can respond to this notification in the same way as for any other incident. Let's now go back to the Support Center console and look for another example where AMS initiated an incident for an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance failure. Open the AWS Management Console and navigate to Support Center. Then locate the relevant incident. This incident was created by AMS to alert you about an Amazon EC2 instance failure. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page to see the first correspondence that was sent by AMS. As you can see from the correspondence details, this is an automated notification with relevant details about the resources affected. In this case, the instance ID and the account ID are the details we need to look for. AMS performs automated remediation of alerts when possible to prevent or reduce the impact to your application. In this case, AMS attempts to recover the instance by stopping and restarting it. You can see this information in the communication sent by us. For more information, check AMS Automatic Remediation of Alerts document in the Resources section of the video description. Now let's take a look at the automation execution result from AMS. You'll get this notification on the same case as seen here. As you can see from this communication, the automation was unsuccessful. This communication also highlights the fact that AMS engineers are now engaged to investigate the problem. As a next step, an AMS engineer investigates the issue and updates you on the same case. You can see this on the next communication sent on the case. You can respond to this notification in the same way as for any other incident. Now you know how to respond to a monitoring incident generated from a CloudWatch alert in your AMS account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.